Parish President Remarks Report. President Jewell. <coughs> Thank you, Chairwoman. I um, <coughs> want to talk really quick and open it up with uh, road maintenance. As you've seen all across the parish, uh, we have been doing road maintenance of um, doing mill and overlay with barrier construction. Uh, just to give you an idea of what's going on this week, today, Monday, October 9th, Clayton Street in Norco, Tuesday, October 10th, St. Francis Street in Destrehan, St. Paul Street in Destrehan, Ruth Street in Destrehan. 3rd Street in Luling, as well as 5th Street in Luling, as well as Ellington Avenue in Luling will be repaved. On Wednesday, we'll have Rose Street in Hornville, as well as General Taylor Drive in Hornville. Um, Thursday, we'll have Goog Street, Pecan Street, and Smith Street, all in Hornville. And then Friday, uh, we'll do Pony Lane in St. Rose. Um, that's in Bar None, as well as Opal Street, Opal Lane in St. Rose as well. Um, so a lot of great work going on. As you know, we already had a first round of streets that went out, um, and um, we're happy to see uh, these streets being repaired. Our goal is to get all of our streets that are either poor or very poor off of our list. I think we mentioned at the last council meeting there were a couple that uh, we had to hold off on this year because of ongoing projects. Again, I want to reiterate that those projects will be the first ones on the list next year. Uh, to make sure we get done and hopefully uh, when we do our, our our inspections of our road that we can get the either classification of good or very good on all of our streets and as you know we mentioned the last council meeting that we're also going to be um, giving some more emphasis to our concrete panel replacement program uh, so think of streets like Celia Court so there's a lot of streets in in St. Rose um, that have um, concrete panels as well as old Luling um, and our goal is to um, Make sure we take care of those um, those failing concrete panels. All right, um, over to River Park Drive. We have been doing some work in this area, and Public Works is cleaning and upgrading section, sections of culvert behind the rear yards of River Park Drive. As you know, River Park has only a five-foot servitude in the backyards of um, many of the houses. Uh, along um, along well um, in fact on both sides so we've had to work uh, with our residents to get right of access uh, and our our public works folks are taking great care to to get in and out very quickly and um, put it back as neatly as possible so that we can make this drainage improvement for that street waterworks ida repairs um, so you see the west bank waterworks building um, this one uh, is uh, should be done by the end of this month, and we'll have some uh, furniture coming in as well to um, uh, to get our folks back in that billing office that was damaged after Hurricane Ida. Uh, there's also some work going on at um, the West Bank building, like the plant building, roof repairs, and other works that, that, that are being done as well in conjunction. They were all bid together. Um, we did open bids for the East Bank water treatment plant repairs. Um, that is a, let's see, that's a $2.3 million engineer's probable cost. Um, um, and we're looking to get those, um, those repaired. I want to remind uh, the council and everyone at home who's watching that we are still working on getting insurance money and FEMA money back in um, from, from St. Charles Parish. I think probably at the next council meeting we'll have um, some good information to to update you with, uh, good news to update you with in regards to the East Bank water intake and what we've been doing uh, with trying to secure funding back uh, to the parish for that. Um, but as we do these projects, just know that we're taking these out of reserves, we're taking these out of projects that were previously slated to go so that we can get our, uh, our buildings back on track. And of course, we're taking the opportunity to make sure that the buildings are repaired in a way that um, will be a little bit more fortified than we than we had previously, uh, so that if we get into this situation, that uh, that we're not making so many repairs in the futures. Um, so, um, just wanted to give you that 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 update. But again, I, I mentioned the East Bank water intake. Um, it's nearly complete as far as the the design process goes. It took a little while as far as um, um, as far as the uh, permitting went um, for that project, obviously the Corps was involved because we were out in the river. They required a slope analysis of the levee um, and the pipes. And um, 
that's being that's in the process of being put out to bid so we're hoping to get that under construction before the end of the year and uh, get that water intake back to full 100% um, uh, you know capability I will say too just as I mentioned that there was good news on the um, on the saltwater intrusion the saltwater wedge that we've heard so much about the core revised their modeling um, and it doesn't look like at this point that st. Charles will see any effects it doesn't even look like um, that Jefferson will see any dangerous effects in other words chloride above 250 parts per million um, during this event obviously we know that the model is the model there I know the um, all the water plants including our own up and down the river are testing for chloride as well as our usual tests that we do every day um, but at this point in time there's no reason for us to react uh, to anything and uh, we continue to work with the Corps every single day to make sure if there is something that changes in those modelings and St. Charles Parish is going to be included that um, that we will have plenty enough time to start responding to that uh, just know that it isn't going to be like a hurricane or a tornado it's not just going to hit us we'll have at least a month of notice uh, to be able to prepare for it and uh, we're watching very closely what other parishes are doing uh, so that we can make sure that uh, we we learn from their mistakes or uh, the things that work for, for them all right going over to quickly to wetland watchers park uh, they had a brief closure um, last week due to uh, high wind pushing water in um, and flooding our entrance uh, as you know we've made repairs and improvements to that entrance uh, but unfortunately the pump that was out there just couldn't keep up with the amount of water coming back in uh, but we are back open and we're excited for that the West Bank spray park and the bridge park renovations are coming along well both projects are um, uh, both are are um, on schedule uh, you can see on the right hand side they actually did some soil stabilization with uh, some soil cement and as I passed today I saw them digging a lot of the drainage for the um, interior ball fields where the actual turf is going to go and then on the left that's a splash park you can see they started pouring a cut they poured a couple of panels that are curing for uh, the parking lot and again we're excited to see all those uh, open up next year next is fall fest uh, SCP parks and rec as well as SRP and the Council on Aging are going to host our annual Fall Fest for the seniors uh, and adults 55 and older on Tuesday, October 31st. That's right, Tuesday, October 31st. And those who are coming are encouraged to call the Council on Aging uh, to RSVP and wear their best Halloween costume. The event will start at 11 a.m. and it'll be at the Edward A. Dufresne Community Center. Again, that's going to be our Fall Fest at 11 a.m. Uh, Tuesday, October 31st. Um, we had a very successful battle for the paddle last week uh, to give you some perspective of there was around 180 teams last year this year there was 222 teams um, I'm not sure they can fit many more teams than they had uh, this year but it was um, very successful and I want to give a big thank you to um, to the folks who who made it a success but first I want to talk to you uh, to tell you about the winners the judges winners uh, in Jambalaya was Bottoms Up Industrial Response and Service. In Gumbo, it was Intergy River Lake. In Pasalaya, it was Stronghold. And then People's Choice winners were Bayer CT 2 over 2 2 third. Gumbo was Bayer Tex 225 Gumbo. Pasalaya was Dow Brand Sa Brand Safeway Pasta Slingers. Um, so those are, are yeah pasta slingers that's right okay battle for the paddle we thank you and um, we want to thank you thank all of the folks at the United Way as well as Public Works and Park and Rec um, and EOC who all uh, contribute to make that uh, that 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 event a huge success um, coming up we have paint the parish pink paint SCP pink day Thursday October 12th is paint SCP pink paint st. Charles Parish pink day so wear your pink SCP shirts or other pink gear to show your support for our breast cancer warriors in st. Charles Parish and chairwoman that concludes my report